Having a bond with your dog means sharing a bond with someone who will always be loyal to you. Who wouldn't want that? But how do you build a bond with your pet? Is it by learning to read her body language or by hand feeding her from time to time? Today, you are in luck as I will show you nine ways to bond with your dog. Create a routine and use positive reinforcement. When you get a dog, training her can be very demanding and it takes quite some time. It requires an incredible amount of patience. She's in a new environment and everything she's interacting with is strange to her. Hence, it is up to you to make her adaptation to new life easier. And doing this the right way by keeping up a consistent routine and using positive reinforcement will undoubtedly strengthen the bond you share. Research has shown that the happiest dogs are the ones who live by a schedule. Canines like to know what is expected of them. They love to know what activity they would do next and what time they would do it. Having a regimen makes your pet's life easier and fosters good behavior. However, remember that your pooch will make mistakes, but you must not punish her. Instead, reward her when she does things right. This will make her want to do it more and discourage her from doing the wrong things. It will make her trust you more and improve the relationship you have with her. Get some exercise together. One of the easiest ways to create a stronger bond with your animal friend is by engaging in activities she loves to do together. Man's best friends do not only love to exercise, but they also need it. And when I talk about exercise for dogs, I mean taking a walk together or taking her on your early morning jogs. Canines need to exercise because they have and need to burn a lot of energy. If your hound doesn't get a chance to stretch her legs, it would most likely lead to destructive behavior because she's not getting enough stimulation. A dog that doesn't get enough exercise may also become depressed as she is not getting to do what she loves. Take your dog for a walk and pay attention to how happy she is. Knowing you are the reason why she's having that euphoric moment will surely make her love you more. And sharing it with you is the icing on the cake. Exercising with your dog is also crucial for her mental health and development, and it also helps you stay fit and healthy. However, keep in mind the breed of dog to decide how much exercise she needs, because it's vital that you don't over-exercise your pooch. Make time to cuddle. In the 24-hour economy world we live in today, we barely even have enough time for ourselves. I get that, but still, you must make time for your pooch. You must carve out some hours or minutes from your busy schedule to spend with your furry friend. If you don't get to spend time with her, you won't get a chance to build a relationship with your pet. Studies show that when you cuddle and interact with your dog, both you and your pet show increased levels of oxytocin. This is a chemical that is released by the body during social interactions, such as between a mother and her child, or a couple in love. It is also known as the love hormone, which stimulates the feeling of happiness and love, and deepens the connection between you and your pet. Canines are pack animals and they need physical touch to be happy. If you isolate your dog, you'll cause her unnecessary and dangerous emotional stress. Cuddling can have multiple psychological benefits for both you and your furry friend. Some experts have also stated that cuddling with your dog can lower your risk of having a stroke. So, snuggling up with your pup is a no-brainer. Give her space from time to time. As much as dogs love to cuddle and spend time with their favorite human and other family members, they also have moments when they want to be alone. Yes, it sounds strange, but they do have these moments. Every dog has a different personality. Some dogs are quite independent and just like to be left alone half the time. It doesn't mean that they don't love their owner, they just like their privacy. If your dog is the energetic type that likes to be around you most of the time but suddenly starts isolating herself for days, that's a sign that something's wrong. But if this happens for only a few hours, Roxy just wants some time alone. This might be because she's just feeling overwhelmed, wants to stay away from loud house guests, or is in the mood for a quiet nap. This is why your pet must have a crate or a dog bed in another room for when she needs a time out. Letting her have her own spot and giving her some space will give you some time for yourself as well. Ultimately, this time apart will make the bond between the two of you grow stronger. Bond through grooming. When most people think about pet grooming, they conjure up images of bows, brushes, and running after their pets. Most dogs are reluctant to be groomed at first, but the more you do it for them, the more they ease into it and come to accept it. Others have the misconception that pet grooming is not necessary. However, it is an essential aspect of your pet's overall well-being and health. This grooming time will allow you to bond with your hound. She sees that you are paying attention to her, and this will surely make her love you more. You do not want a dirty and smelly pet jumping on your couch or clean bed sheets, or imagine a dirty pet trying to cuddle with you. 
Grooming will help your buddy maintain a healthy coat and also prevent diseases. Engage in playtime. The sure path to a dog's heart is by playing with her. It's your blueprint to becoming your pooch's best friend. This is one of those factors man's best friends consider when choosing their favorite human. It's simple for them, and it comes down to, who do I want to have fun with the most? That is what is important to your pet, and this is what strengthens the bond you share. It's one of those factors you must consider when you want to get a dog. You must ask yourself, would I have enough time to play with her? Because every dog needs to play because of their mental and physical development. My dog knows our routine by heart, and once it's approaching playtime, I can sense that she's excited. Some canines wouldn't even hesitate to bring you their toys. It's also one of your most fundamental duties as a pet parent. And the more you play with your pet, the more her love for you grows. Playing with your pet relieves you of stress and also gives you a chance to exercise yourself. It's win-win, isn't it? Hand feed your dog from time to time. If you think dogs go crazy when it's playtime, let me tell you what they love even more, food. For canines, this is the holy grail and perhaps even ranks ahead of spending time with you. This is why your fluffy friend is excited when she sees you're bringing her a meal. By feeding your dog from your hand, you show her that you are the gateway to valuable things. It's also a way to teach a dog to stop resource guarding. Not only would hand feeding get your pooch to trust you, but it shows her how much you care. It tells her that you are the one who provides her with food and will undoubtedly draw her close to you. It teaches your pet good manners around food, and for fearful and shy dogs, it can boost confidence by building trust. Hand feeding will also teach your pooch bite inhibition. However, you must not do this all the time as it can make your dog overdependent or may have issues eating alone. Learn to read her body language. Dogs do not speak a language we understand. Instead, they communicate a lot with their body language. The ability to read your pet's gestures and nonverbal expressions is one of the many qualities of a good dog owner. This makes life easier for your pet and tells her you are in sync. Who wouldn't like someone who knows them better than anyone else? Because you recognize her nonverbal cues, you can tell when she's uncomfortable with an overzealous stranger. You know when to step in and protect her from this person. That shows your pet just how much you care. You must take the time to study your pet and accept her for who she is. Because, as I said earlier, every dog is different. You must be able to decipher what a yawn, a lip lick, sweaty paws, or food refusal implies. Once you study your dog, you know what her likes and dislikes are, and this makes it easier to communicate with her. You become the cool parent who knows what makes your four-legged friend tick, and in time, you become her best friend as well. Be consistent with communication. To grow the bond you share with your furry friend, you must be consistent with the way you communicate with her. You must decide on what particular words to use to communicate with her and also the nonverbal signs you use. This makes it simple for your pooch to understand what exactly you're trying to tell her. By being consistent with the words you use to communicate with her, she would be able to differentiate when she's being told off or when she's done the right thing. Make sure you select simple and common words that you would never forget. You must also inform your family members and any other person who interacts with your hound about what these words are. If you or any other person uses words your dog is not familiar with to communicate with her, this will leave her stressed and confused. Consistent, positive communication will endear your pooch closer to you because she's familiar with the words you use. Hence, it's no longer a task for her to grasp what you're trying to say to her. Which of these things do you already use to bond with your dog? And which of them did you not know before? See you next time.